because I mean, you are an expert on door knocking and, yep. you know, being right there in person. Yep. What, your, what is your approach when you knock on the door? I mean, even out of the detail of, do you step back down the steps? Do you stop, you know, stay away from the door? Uh, what happens when you knock on the door and what's your like bullet point scripting uh, when they answer the door? That is such a good question. Um, so basically, you know, I, I have a, like, a, I usually have, like, I have something in my hand, like a clipboard looking thing and I got my pen and I'm like, they answer the door, I'm like, hey, Mary, and the like, yeah, so I have, I have this clipboard and on it is actually all of the foreclosures. So I print them out so that their name is on a list and I can physically show them this list. And I just say, hey, my name is uh, Dwan and I'm a full-time real estate investor. And we specialize in helping folks uh, that have a problem with their property. And I'd really like to know what I can do to help you out and what have you done so far? Just that simple. And they'll say like, oh, you know, I don't have a problem. I say, well, see this list right here? Your name is on here. So this says you have a problem, but you know, it could be wrong. But let's just talk about your situation. And then they'll say, well, I'm behind a couple payments. And then I hand them my fed up with foreclosure package. And I say, well, these are 10 options that you can do to try to buy time to stay in your home or sell it if you want to. And these are your options. Let me give you free information. So it's a 30 page packet. Here's some free information. Let's talk about some of these options and see what you've been doing and see what we can do to make things work out. So by handing them that information packet, it takes the, first of all, it takes the pressure off of me to conversate with them. It also takes the pressure off of them to be like, oh my gosh, why is this woman at my door? And we're looking at this paper and we're talking about, did you try a loan modification? Did you try a forbearance agreement? Did you try this? Did you try that? And then, and then they open up and they'll start talking to me. So it's really as simple as just like, I specialize in helping folks like you solve their problems. I want to know what I can do to help you out. And almost always, I don't have a problem. And I'm like, well, I've got all these foreclosures right here that I printed from the courthouse. And there's your name right there. So maybe it's a mistake. So let's just talk about it for a minute. And they open right up. But I do yeah. step back. I do step back because, you know, it's COVID. Uh, but I step back anyway because a lot of times it's just a woman answers the door. And if you're right there, like, you know, <laughs> you don't want to scare the person either. So I step back about three feet and I talk and once I hand them the information, they just blurt out everything that's happening. Right, right. I guess when I care, I'm a crazy husband and you know how Bill looks and everybody loves us. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, do most of them invite you in? Sometimes. Yeah, they do. Uh, typically, I, I don't. I used to always just go in and sit and talk with people, but I find out what happens is when they invite you in, you end up sitting down with them for three hours and they're telling you all the things that are wrong and why they're not a loser and how this, you know, they don't know what happened. And if they don't work with you, you wasted so much time. Right. So what I say now is, and it's not that I don't want to listen, but I've had that happen to me hundreds thousands i've had it happen to me thousands of times where i spent three hours with someone that didn't work with me and i can't like give them a seminar you know so now what i do is i say hey listen i'd love to come in and talk but i have to talk to all these people on this list today let me get your phone number and you i'm mean, i want you to look at this package and i'll call you back tomorrow there you then go that way it's like it's short it's and they can look through the package i call them the next day and then on the phone i i can get more to the point. Do you, do you want to move? Do you want to stay? What's your financial situation? How can I help you? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't go in anymore. I did for, I mean, for, a, I mean like a decade <laughs> and then I'd be in there and they're like, then they're like making me tea and we're having cookies and next thing you know, it's like, Oh my gosh, I've been here two hours. What am I doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> I had to stop doing that. Cause you know, I like to talk and then they <laughs> like to talk and next thing you know, it's like the next day. Oh my word. Mercy. mercy. So, um, so you get their information, uh, you follow up with them. So you, now your average visit is what? 10 minutes? Tops. 10 minutes tops. Yeah. Cause you're, it sounds to me like your objective 
is to give them the packet and get their phone number yes. and you're pretty much done. I'm done. I'm done for today. I, my objective is to get a phone number. Even if they say, I don't want help, or I'm not interested. Then I say, well, let me leave this information package because it's free, but let me have your phone number so I can double check and see why your name is on this list. Mm -hmm. Now, technically, I can't get them off the list at the courthouse, but I could certainly call the courthouse and say, hey, is this person scheduled for foreclosure? So when right. I call them, I can say, look, I called the courthouse and you got a foreclosure sale date in 90 days. So something's yeah. going on. What do you think about the package? And I can talk to them. So my objective is to get a phone number, call them back, let them read it, actually make a phone call if I need to. Uh, but I, I want their phone number because I just, I can't, I just can't stand there and talk like I used to. I learned <laughs> to value my time and exactly. also learned that people want to talk and it doesn't mean they want to work with you. Two different mm. things. That's excellent.